With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question given is let A is equal to 1, 2, B is equal to Z, 1, 2, 3, 4 and C is a Z, 5, 6 and D is equal to Z, that is 5, 6, 7, 8. Verify that. We have two part is given which we have to verify in which A cross B intersection C is equal to A cross B intersection A cross C and second part is A cross C is a subset of B cross D. Now let's find out. First of all, let's find out the for the first part. So first part is given that we have to find A cross B intersection C is equal to A cross B intersection A cross C. So for that what we need? We need B intersection C. We need A cross B and A cross C. So let's find out all of the things. So first of all, let's find out B intersection C. So B intersection C will be, let's see what will be the B intersection C. So first of all, if we see B and C, there is nothing which is intersection. So it is a empty set that is null set now if i multiply a with b intersection c that is with a empty set then it will also be equal to empty so now let's talk about this that is a cross b now if i talk about a cross b a cross b what will be a cross b let's find out so a is given this set b is given this set if i found if we try to find out a cross B it will be set of it will be set of first of all it will be 1 1 then 1 2 then after that it will be 1 3 then after that it will be 1 4 then after that it will be 2 1 then after that it will be 2 3 then after that it will be Oh, sorry we missed 2 2 also and after that it will be 2 4 so this will be the a cross b now let's find out a cross c so a cross c will be a cross c will be equal to a is here given that is 1 2 and c is here given 5 6 so it will be 1 2 1 6 then 2 5 2 6 this will be the set of a cross c so if i write a cross c it will be 1 5 then 1 6 and then 2 5 then 2 6 so this is what we have a cross c now if it is a cross c let's find out what are the what are the intersection between a cross b and a cross c if you see you can also check there is no intersection no set is matching so there is no intersection so this is also empty so from here we can say that this is also empty set and this is also empty set so if both are empty that means this statement is true because both the set are empty so statement number one that is first part is true because both the set is empty now let's find out about the second part so in second part what is given let's see in second part we have first of all we have to find out a cross c is a subset of b cross d now if you see we have already find out a cross c so let's find out b cross d so b cross d will be equal to if i try to find out b cross d this is b 1 2 3 4 this is d 5 6 7 8 so it will be 1 5 1 6 1 7 1 8 then 2 5 2 6 2 7 2 8 then 3 5 3 6 3 7 3 8 then 4 5 4 6 4 7 and 4 8 so let's find out b cross d so it will be 1 5 then 1 6 then after that it will be 1 7 then after that it will be 1 8 then after that for 2 it will be 2 5 then 2 6 then 2 7 then 2 8 
I already told you how. Now after that it will be three five, then it will be three six, then it will be three seven, then it will be three eight. After that it will be what? Sorry four. After that it will be four five. Four five then four six then then it will be four seven then it will be four eight. So these are the set of B cross D. Now let's see. We have to find. We have to tell that it is a subset of this or not. So if you see, subset means all the set of A cross D should come under B cross D. So if I match, if I match here, if you see, one five is there, one five is also here. One six is here. One six is also here. Then two five. Two five is there. Two five is there. Two six is there. Two six here. So subset means all the set of A cross D should come under B cross D, and that is what coming out. So from here we can say that statement two is also true. That is this statement is also true. So from here we can say that both the given things are both the given parts are true. Hope you understand the question. Thank you so much, everyone. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.